Hi everyone, welcome back to MasterExcel.net Just a very quick video to answer a question from a colleague He has down column A um, over 5000 dates dating back to 1980 up to the end of 2012 What my colleague wants to do is count how many Events were booked in January 1980 and so on and so on, 1981 and so on. He asked, What's it quickest way for me to do this rather than going through and counting one, two, three, for example? Um, right away, um, I said, Well, you, you need to put this in a pivot table. So that's what we're going to do in this example. So we'll just that. I'm going to select all the data including the heading and so let's just select cell A1, control and shift and press the down arrow and that selects all our data. Click insert, pivot table and it's selected this range. Where do you want to put the pivot table? We'll put it in the existing worksheet just to Now, event date, we're going to put down the rows, and as you can see it's replicated all the event dates on column A, and we're going to count how many we're booked each day. So if we take, for example, 18th of the 1st, 1980, it's three events booked here, show three. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking to split it up into years and months. Very simple. You click on the date field, right click and group. Now we want years and months. Starting 1st of the 1st, 1980 and ending December 2012. Click OK and very quickly. You can see it's very quickly totaled these values which tell us in January there were 17 events booked. Very flexible, you can group it into just years and click OK and it would tell you how many were booked in each year. Okay that's it, just a quick example and a quick answer to Collie's question. See you again soon.